Hey guys, it's Jessica here with the March Addy update. I can't believe it's March already. It feels like yesterday uh, was New Year's Eve. So <laughs> it's just gone by so fast. I've already had midterms and everything um, and spring breaks coming up. Uh, I've been a little sick, so I haven't posted very much lately. Even though I was sick, I got to try all this really awesome stuff in February and um, I wanted to include like the February fragrances and everything, so this is going to be an Addy update slash February favorite. First in the film and TV news, uh, Vampire Diaries. Uh, a lot's happened already this season, so we'll see how the how the season ends. They always end it like really like on a cliffhanger, so I'm excited to see what will happen. I'm kind of surprised they didn't kill Jeremy off until like the season finale and make that the season finale, but I'm not a Vampire Diaries writer, so I, I don't get a say in that. <laughs> um, but uh, from what I know, they will be returning in the fall. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself after Vampire Diaries and I'm excited for like the season finale and everything, and even though that means that I will have nothing to watch <laughs> for all of summer, that's not true. Dancing with the Stars comes back, and I like, uh, hopefully Jane by Design will be coming back soon, too. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, most of the shows will be ending pretty soon. Vampire Diaries won't actually be ending until, um, April. It feels like it's gonna end a whole lot sooner than it really is. Um, also, Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. If you saw my last, uh, Addy update, I told you it's coming out August 16th. Um, I got a few more pictures of it. Here's some really neat pictures. Here's a picture of Levin Rambin, and um, she's in her little getup and everything is Clarice. I'm actually really excited that they cast her as Clarice because Clarice is like really this like tough girl and Love and Rambin knows how to play the tough girl. So I'm excited to see how she'll portray her. Um, if you haven't read the books, uh, Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, the book's amazing. You should definitely go out and read it. It's, it's really good. Um, Logan Lerman will be in that, of course, as Percy Jackson. He's also supposed to be in this new movie coming out called Noah. And it's basically how it sounds. It's about Noah, um, Noah and the Ark. And I'm not really sure how they're going to portray that, if they're going to portray it from, like, a Christian standpoint or just, like, a secular uh, standpoint or what. Um, but it's going to have Emma Watson in it. And they've already played in um, Perks of Being a Wildflower together. And... I actually, I saw that the other day, and I wasn't as impressed with it as I thought I was going to be. Um, so that was kind of a letdown, but I like Emma, I, I like Emma Watson. She does a, she does a good job uh, acting and everything she's in. And I think it was just, I don't know, I didn't really like the storyline and Perks of Being Wallflower. But they're going to be together again, and Noah, um, Russell Crowe is going to play Noah. We'll see how that turns out. Here's a picture of him. This is the only picture I have yet of um, of the movie. I don't know. We'll see. It's supposed to have Jennifer Connelly in it and Douglas Booth and a whole bunch of other um, famous actors and actresses. And um, I don't know. We'll see. When the trailer comes out, I'm sure I'll have more of an opinion on it. But right now, there's not a whole lot out about it. Now you see it. If any of you have seen the trailer, that movie just looks... I'm going to post some pictures. Here's a picture of the poster for it. Basically what the movie is about is it's like these um, illusionists, like criminal illusionists. While they're performing their illusion, they rob banks. And I just thought that was like the most original and interesting theme that I have seen in a long time so I'm excited to see it I think illusionists are really cool too so here's a picture of the cast the main cast and here's a picture of uh, I think he's playing the lead guy 
Um, Catching Fire, Hunger Games Catching Fire will be coming out in November, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited about this movie. Um, here's the latest poster for it. There's actually two. Here's the other one. I think it's gonna be really good. The problem with these movies is, I mean, the last one was so, like, it hit it on the nail. Like, it... It was just, like, straight like the book. Like, they didn't go off and do some other storyline. Like, in Twilight, everything was different from the book. Um, but, well, like the first one. You know what I mean. Anyways, the, the first movie was so much like the book and everything. But at the same time, it annoyed me because I was, like, I, I was so into the books for so long. Like, because when you read something, it takes a lot longer and... It's just more personal and everything, and the movie didn't give you that in-depth sense of Katniss, or at least I didn't think it did. So, I don't know. I'm really excited about the movie, though. I liked the last movie. It was just really quick, and I expected everything that was going to happen because I had already read the book. I should stop doing that. I don't like reading the books and then going to see the movies because I don't like judging the books and the movies to each other. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, in the beauty news section what I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, I don't have the bag with me. I didn't really like the bag this month. Um, it was like a, uh, like a rain jacket texture, and I don't like that texture. That's why I don't have any rain jackets. Um, so... In the bag, I was a little uh, unimpressed at first. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know. I thought the samples were going to be bigger and everything. But then after I tried the samples, I was so impressed because the, the samples are really good quality. And it was stuff that I actually did want to try. Um, this was the thing I was least impressed with. Uh, just because I don't really, I don't have a problem with getting mascara on my eyes. I guess some people would, but it's just a lash card and... Um, it just keeps you from getting mascara on your eyes. See, there's like a little picture down here. You put it like right above your eye, and then you just use it to keep the mascara off. Uh, I can use this when I'm doing other people's makeup, though. So this was actually, I don't, I don't hate it. I'm not going to stop doing Ipsy just because I wouldn't, I don't know. I wouldn't go out and buy this. If I wanted to protect, if I really did not trust my skills at, um, applying other people's mascara, which I do, but I'm going to go ahead and use these since I have them. Um, I would just make some with, like, cardboard or something. You could probably make them with, like, flashcard material. Um, the next thing I got in there that was, like, the second thing that I wasn't really sure about was this um, Flawless and Poreless Pixie Primer. It's for your face. I already use a BB cream which has a primer in it. Whenever I run out of my BB cream and I'm like midway in between ordering a new one and like running out, I'll probably just like sample this. This is awesome. Like the Ipsy bag is really good about giving you stuff to try so that you have a lot of options out there and you're not paying all this money for big versions of products. Um, you're just getting little versions. But you're you're getting a lot for your money. You're only paying. The Ipsy bag is only $10 a month. Um, this right here is a little Coastal Scents uh, sampler, and in it is, uh, I think this one's Dark Goldenrod, and then this one's Sunbeam, uh, Golden Globe, and Dark Golden Olive. And they're really pretty colors. I liked these colors. I'm At first I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yellow one here, but it's actually a great highlight color. Um, depending on what colors you're using with it. I use this in my uh, tutorial for my dramatic red carpet look. Um, dangerous red carpet look. Um, Coastal Sense is really good product. I mean, that their eyeshadow is really good quality. The next thing I got was this Pop Mascara. Here's the brush. It's just a really simple brush. But this one is actually, it doesn't clump like at all. This was a good deal. I love mascara, so I don't mind getting more mascara. This was something I was really excited about. It's uh, Mica Beauty Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner. I had never tried the gel eyeliner before, but it seems to be like all the rave. Here it is. It's just a little pot of it. Um, 
I tried it. It's in my tutorial. I really like it. I love it, actually. Um, it's, a, it's really easy to use. It goes on easy. It comes off easy. It's good quality. It stays on all day. And it just feels really good. First of all, you do need to clean out your brush if you use this. You can't reuse that brush the next day because the gel gets stiff. So that was one thing that I'm... I wouldn't use the gel liner every day just because of that because then I would have to clean that brush out every single day. And I like to clean my brushes out in bunches. So... That just wouldn't really work for me, which is okay because I like using different kinds of eyeliners. Um, this one was good. I like it. I'm really excited about the gel eyeliner. I'll probably talk about this again in this video. That's it for Addy Updates. For the February favorites, uh, my favorite movie in February was Won't Back Down. It's a really good movie. It's about these two women who they, one is a teacher and one is a mother, and technically they're both mothers, but the whole point was that it was a teacher and a mother noticing that their school was like in complete shambles. There was, no one was learning. The kids were just like being passed by. And as a teacher, it was just, a, it was a phenomenal movie to me. It really, it was inspiring. And the actresses did a wonderful job. Okay. My favorite drink for February, this one's empty, but was the Sobe Yumberry Pomegranate Life Water. I got, since February was like the month of love, I got this um, chocolate box. Isn't it like a cute box? It looks like a jewelry box. I can use this as a jewelry box. Um, I got this chocolate box from my grandparents while they were traveling, and it's got this little bow on it, and I'll take the bow off for you. It's Norman Love Confections. Norman Love Confections. Chocolate Salon. And it was just, the chocolates are gone. I've already eaten them. I will post a review on these things on my blog because these are really good. And I'll just show you, I'll go ahead and show you like pictures of which ones I got. And you guys can check out my blog and it will talk all about these chocolates. I'll post it there. I, God willing, I will post it there. Um, so the first one I tried was, maybe I can't find it. Here it is. This one is ginger lime. Ginger lime. And it's like green and yellow and it was really weird looking and I don't like lime stuff. So it was the first one I tried because I always try to save like the best for last. So I tried that one first and it tasted, I don't know, it tasted weird. It was so strange. Um, but it was a good strange. I don't know. I don't like lime stuff, but I liked this. There was a pumpkin chocolate in my box. You didn't get to choose which chocolates were in there. So this was not based on me. But the pumpkin one, it tasted like pumpkin pie. Like straight up pumpkin pie. It tasted like pumpkin pie. And that for me was weird because I was expecting chocolate. It's a little chocolate and it tastes like pumpkin pie. I, like, my mind was blown. Right here, and this one was actually my favorite. It was the Berry Kiss Little Heart um, chocolate, and it tasted like strawberry shortcake. It tasted exactly like strawberry shortcake. And I know I said that it was weird that the pumpkin one tasted like pumpkin pie, because I was expecting chocolate, but this one was just, it was so good, because it also had some of the white chocolate in it. Um, it was white chocolate, and then it had like a, like a berry filling to it, which I don't like, I do not like chocolates with any kind of weird berry filling in them. This one I liked. So, just so you know, the Norman Love Confections Berry Kiss chocolate is amazing. I don't like strawberry shortcake either just so you know. But it tasted like strawberry shortcake and white chocolate, so I guess that was what made it for me. It was this Sweet Love one, which I did not like at all. It was like this weird, I don't know, is a weird. Yeah, I didn't like it. Did not like it at all. It's Sweet Love, and I didn't like it. Berry Kiss was good, Sweet Love was not. The last one I tried, because I thought it was going to be the best, was the Dark Chocolate Cream Truffle, and this one came in second for me, because... 
It tasted like dark chocolate, but I'm telling you that Berry Kiss one was just amazing. And I don't like berry chocolates, so that says something about that chocolate. So check out Norman Love Confections. Just look them up. They were really good. I don't know where they're based or anything like that. They, My grandparents came back from a trip, and that's what they brought me. The other thing with food this month was actually... This was another Valentine's Day present my mom got me. And I have a bunch of these now because she had a whole bunch left over. So she gave them all to me, and I've been using them to, like, keep stuff in. I love stuff like this. This one's... I have two different kinds, and there's seven of them. And they're just little heart buckets, and they're so cute, and I can just put stuff in them all the time. And I'm thinking for my first giveaway, when I hit 100 so YouTube subscribers, I am going to put some stuff in one of these little buckets, and that's going to be my giveaway. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. But it just came in this little, there was like chocolates and stuff in there, and they were really cute. This is one that hasn't been opened yet, and these are the two kinds. So I will post pictures of all this stuff too. Um, so that's it for food and stuff. The other thing that I got for Valentine's Day as a present was some flowers from my dad, and here's a picture of those. Aren't they pretty? I love getting flowers, and since I don't have a boyfriend, my dad's the one who gives me flowers. And that's okay, because I love getting flowers from my dad. He's so sweet. And during February, I don't know if they're my favorite books, but actually, I really like this one. I've been reading this one since January. It's a Jesus Calling, and it's just like a devotional book. It really helps with my quiet time, just to like have, like, I don't know. I have a mindset where I need like a base something to think about to like revolve my thoughts around so this is this helps with that a lot the other thing that I tried um, that I've been reading since February because I haven't finished it yet I'm like I'm like a quarter of the way through it's uh, life and timeless principles of the founder of Mary Kay it's just her biography her autobiography and um, I like it it's really inspirational this is a great book for people who are involved in sales at all. I have been like a hair band freak lately. I just like want to wear hair bands all the time. So I wanted some really simple ones. I want to get some really cute like out there ones. But I wanted some really simple ones for when I just want my hair back. So I got these. It's just two really simple little braided bands and I got them this one's already getting dirty so light colored hair bands are not good but I like this black one I've worn this a whole lot more than I've worn the pink one I don't know why the pink one's getting dirty they were only 180 at forever 21 my favorite makeup product this month was definitely the mica beauty cosmetics gel eyeliner just because it was my first try with the eyeliner I've been using it I think I've used it if, I've used it quite a few times this month um, and I really like it. I like the tapering effect I can do with it. I can't really do that with other, with my, I guess I could do it with my liquid eyeliner, but it would be a whole lot harder. Gel eyeliner, so much easier than liquid eyeliner. Like, I want to convert to just gel eyeliner. <laughs> because liquid eyeliner is a pain in the boot sometimes. Okay, this was another thing that my mom had. These things are really cute. You can get these, like, at the dollar store. Uh this month, I sam I didn't get to sample a lot because I was sick. Or last month, I, I didn't get to sample a lot because I was sick. This is the Coach one that I did sample. Um, it's scent. If you are not one of those people who likes perfume and doesn't want a really strong scent, Coach is the way to go with all of their perfumes. All of their perfumes are like that. They're not super strong, and they're not going to knock anybody out when they smell you. But they're nice, like, sensual smells. So go with that. Um, the other thing that I tried this uh, past month was Guess Girl. And I don't know. It's a good smell. It's just, like, these were the only two fragrances I tried as far as, like, perfume this month. And this one was okay. 
It wasn't a it wasn't a fail fragrance at all, but it's not one that I would buy. This is Peach Posey, and I don't normally like the smell of peach, but I really liked this. It's uh, it was February's fragrance. You can't get it 10% off anymore, but if you know your Cincy consultant, have her let you sample this because this is actually a really good like home smell. I think it's a good home smell. The other one that I tried this month that was new, I also tried the Cream La Doucer, Douche or something. I didn't like it, so it doesn't matter. This one is Happy Go Lucky, and this is the one I am obsessed with. This one smells like strawberry shortcake, and I know I'm like obsessed with strawberry shortcake right now, which makes no sense because I don't really like strawberry shortcake all that much. But it smells like strawberry shortcake, and it smells it smells a little bit like flowers. I think this is a good like bedroom scent, like. If you just want to relax and chill and you want a good scent like a good scent to relax and chill with, this is the scent to go with. This one's a good home smell. Like when people walk in your door, what do they want to smell? They don't want to smell cat litter, they don't want to smell your stinky smell from like when you cook bacon or something. They want to smell something really nice and fresh and homey. And Peach Posey is definitely that. Happy Go Lucky is more of like a girly, fun bedroom smell. That's what I think. I hope you guys liked this. This is probably going to be a super long video and I'm not looking forward to editing it. But <laughs> I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you later. Everything that I've talked about today will be posted on my blog and then um, like pictures and stuff. If you want to see more pictures from the movies that I talked about today, those will also be on my blog along with um, more review stuff. So any... Any item that you want to learn more about, it will be on my blog and there will be links and everything. So just uh, go check out the blog. It'll be, I'll have a link to that down in the description box. Like, subscribe, and you will see more of me and more products. So, bye guys! Um, vampires, vampire, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and out of my BB came <laughs> day heart ones and now I can't get I don't know it was like caramel only gross there are two squirrels running <laughs> these two squirrels are like chasing each other outside the window okay back to the video so if you're a hair brand freak, if you're a hair band freak like me, this is stuff that you can keep stuff in, like makeup and I don't know. I really don't know where I was going with that now. Worries. When was this? Maybe this was Feb. I don't know.